got mine, she stuck with a king. What's up, you guys? Um, it's your girl MJ, Kate up here for Hooper. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk on here real quick um, with a podcast, a voice podcast, because sometimes when I'm using my face, you feel me? I don't be wanting my uh, message to get lost, or um, sometimes I notice I'll just keep fucking talking. And so I just wanted to hop on here real quick and just express that um, me personally, like I've been seeing on social media, you know, a lot of this retrograde and Mercury retrograde and you feel me, um, just a lot of energy patterns coming about and old things coming about, coming about and things like that. And I just wanted to like inform you if you're like into, you know, astrology and the, um, retrogrades and things like that. I just wanted to kind of express that like you have control over that. Like, yes, our emotions, um, are, you know, seeming to be out of whack or seeming to be, you know, focused or um, on a certain, you know, level or how do I want to say this? Because I don't want to say level. Level sounds very condescending. So um, I would say like when your energy is just very weary and very just confusing and like it's on a roller coaster you feel what I'm saying like just up and down up and down up and down and so I've been you know reading up on this stuff and a lot of the times it's just saying it's about us really and so the more you find out about you the easier it is to kind of navigate um around other energies and to navigate within your own and so this Mercury retrograde, this retrograde that, you know, everyone's talking about and, oh, be, you know, cautious of who you allow in your energy circle and who, you know, reaches out to you out of the blue and all this and that. Like, honestly, change your patterns, um, change the way that you think, change the way that you um, allow your mind to operate and become an open book to become an open book to yourself, if that makes sense. So never, don't try to sell yourself short by automatically assuming that this is how I am and this is how I'm going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like there, you learn new things every single day. And I think it's very important to learn new things about ourselves. And so the more you start to open that book, um, that is solely written about your life, your struggles, your, um, background, you know, your, trials and tribulations, your devotion to your pathway, like your story. Okay. This is your book. Like you're the author of your book. You are the co-creator of your book. And so you have to learn more about yourself. And so I said all that to say, take time to understand your mind, to understand your body, to understand your soul, and try to take control over the opinions of others okay so what i mean by that is stop allowing other people to put their words inside your book you get me like no this is my book um i'm going to continue to study myself and you know you have your own book so you can study yourself and don't just because your book says that about you does not mean that you know those words are supposed to be in my book and so a lot of a lot of the times a lot of people are walking around with projection and so protect your book okay protect your story and learn more about yourself study yourself study your mind study your emotions and i promise like everything will make so much more sense once you find yourself within you okay um so like the retrograde you feel me i believe in it sometimes because i be feeling like my energy like damn motherfuckers is just calling me when they want to call me you know when it's convenient for them and so i feel that you know the retrograde coming and feeling like it's 2019 again so just take control over how you react to certain things and read your book study your book gain knowledge about yourself and um it will be so much easier to navigate um in a world where a lot of people, you know, aren't studying themselves. And so um, too many people I've noticed are too busy studying other people um, rather than studying themselves. And so you feel me? Take the time out of today. It's Tuesday. It's a beautiful day. Go on your walk. Go outside. Listen to birds. Listen to, you know, the waterfalls. Listen to the breeze. 
listen to just God and just listen to what he's telling you because it's important to understand that you are experiencing a 3D realm. So whatever is up here in the mind, you can manifest into the re reality and make it your reality. So whatever you want to be, whatever you want to become, whatever book you want to be reading about yourself, you can very much do that. So take control, take initiative. I love you guys. Happy Tuesday. Um, and be blessed. Live abundantly. Okay. Love yourself more than this world loves you and, um, take care. Okay. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. You feel me? Um, anyways, God, I that you, whoever's listening to this, I hope that you, um, send them a powerful, powerful urge to take initiation of their life. Um, I ask that you protect them and cover them with a shield, um, with your arms around them. And I ask that you shed light on any dark situation that any of them may fa be facing. I ask that you hold their hands as they walk down this path that you want them to take. And, um, yeah, you feel me? Just continue to love, love them and continue to show them that sh you exist and you're here. Okay. Um, in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. Peace. Okay. Bye. I love you guys.